Hello viewers, me na Justice E.M. Mm -hmm. Tijan from Kid Afan Discoveries and this na your program Salum Discoveries. Oh, today again we come na the Harry and Sane Hallway tap na 56 Kambu Street. We so we can follow up um, a press conference with the National Political Debate Committee. Don't call for can update the public and the press concerning the forthcoming political debates we go for come very soon. We will be there so for can know how this press conference go for turn like. Yeah, and so basically the NPDC, as you all should be aware, is, a, is the body that is responsible now to organize political debates in Sierra Leone. And like um, this and said, this was one of the 2018 presidential elections. And so what we are trying to do is to ensure that we develop a culture of debate within our body politics so that we encourage our politicians to be able to dialogue with one another on issues where we, we want to promote issue-based politics. And we also want to carry the public along, public participation, so that the public will know what the politicians stand for, their ideologies, and so that when we go into elections, those elections are based on issues rather than tribe or, or, or region. So that's the focus of the, of the NPC. And if you look at the, the composition, you know that it's very diverse. Every interest group is represented, from the youth, to women, to PWDs, to the media, and to CSOs, to election monitoring bodies, they are all here. That's why we have the, the P PPRA now, the political yeah. parties. PPRC. Yeah, PPRC. PPRC. for now, although they are proposing to change the name to PPRA. That's why we have the PPRC as the co-chair of, um, of the NPDC because they interface with the political parties and to organize the big political debates we have to have our primary stakeholders as the political parties. So that's why we get the idea. And the vice chairperson is a Marcel and Samba CC of representing campaign for governance in the committee. Yeah? And so today we are we want to unveil um, our plans for for January because we want to begin to uh, begin the debates and build the momentum so that we, when we go to the presidential elections, the public is aware of what we're doing, and there will be and some buying from the public and from the media that um, this activity is a national activity, and we need it um, to ensure that um, the public um, gets along with the political process for the 2023 um, public elections. And so, with funding from the National Democratic Institute, by the way, the NDI has been uh, the major uh, sponsor of. Uh, of the um, NPDC, um, they financed or they, they supported the formation of NPDC, they supported it, they took us through registration and they, they took us through some other process to develop our, our um, strategic goal and then other documents and other uh, essential uh, documents that we need to operate as a legal entity here. And so they have been supporting us to do that. And so now they are also supporting us to do three debates before the presidential uh, elections. One is for young people in political parties. The second one is for women in political parties. And the third one is for PWDs, persons living with disabilities in political parties. So those three debates will happen in January. Already we have held quantitative meetings with political parties and the PPRC. We have discussed everything. We have discussed everything about this. Um, about these uh, planned events, and we all agree together. The that is approach we are doing. We are trying to ensure that whatever we do, we do so in consultation with political parties. So we all decide on the topics of the debates, we decide on the dates of the debates, the venue, and the format, and who will be the moderators, and how we are going to do this together. And so those are the three debates. So for the three debates, we have three topics for each of the debates, as agreed in the meeting with political parties. So for the young people's debates, the topic will be what workable solutions will your party offer or profile to address youth unemployment, drug abuse, the spread of hate speech and disinformation, and to promote national security, peace, and national cohesion? That is the topic for the first debate, which is the youth or young people debate in political parties. What workable solutions will your party profile to address? youth unemployment, drug abuse, the spread of hate speech and disinformation, and to promote national security, peace and cohesion. That is the first one. 
The second debate would be the women's debate. And the topic for that one would be what role will your party play in ensuring the, imp the effective implementation of the GUE Act 2020, 2022. We all know that the parameters legislated uh, the gender empowerment, uh, the gender equality, uh, and the women's equality. empowerment being into an act. It's only waiting up for the presidential assets. And so we want to know what political parties um, will do to ensure that it's not just in legislation like other legislations, but it's implemented across the board and across the nation. And so the third one, which is for PWDs, people living with disabilities, political parties, because the topic would be what will your party do to promote the inclusion and active participation of PWDs in political parties? So those are the three debates that we have lined up for, for January. And this is the timeline for that. The Young People debate will take place on 12th of January at the New Prince Hotel from 7 o'clock to 10 o'clock. It's a three hours debate. Hmm? And um, the second one is a women debate that will take place on the 19th of January at the same venue, New York Prince Hotel, same time 7 to 10, 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. And the third one, Peter Bloodies, will take place on the 26th of January, New York Prince Hotel again, the same time 7 to 10 a.m. And so, with the political parties, we already asked them to submit their, we already agreed at the meeting that they will submit the list of um, the debaters that they will send for all these three categories. Uh, for the women, for the women debates, they will send women. For the young people debates, it's open to women, young women, and young males in the political parties. And the people debates as well, they will send people debates from the political parties. But in the event that they don't have uh, a people debate in the political party, Will send um, uh, members of the house PWDs, but I will speak on behalf of the PWDs. So that's how we agreed. And the list should have been submitted by the 10th of, uh, the 10th of December. Thank you very much. My name is Ahmed Said Nazola, being the chairman for the National Political Debates Committee, representing Slarge in the committee. Okay, so tell me what you have to today. Well, we can here today because we want to talk to the public about the true una, about um, the debates that we will plan for January. Because we are a national political debates committee and we mandate now for organized political debates so that we promote issue based politics and promote dialogue among politicians and also promote the participation of the public. And make we say we do the entry debate, have a bill up to the presidential debate to get for in around, around May and June next year for the public elections. And so we come for now say we get three debates that will come up in January. One now for um, women in political parties, the other one are for young people in political parties, and the third one are for people living with disabilities, what we call disabled okay. in political parties. Okay, so before we go inside that, for somebody who don't know exactly how the, this national political debate come about, tell me briefly how this whole thing come about. Well, um, this committee then born out of uh, the 2018 elections we get. Remember, say, we get some organizations that will come together and organize a successful presidential debate that end day. Well, for the first time in Sierra Leone, we get all the, can all the candidates who aspire for the presidency, then come, then come at the debate, and then perform, and then participate, and the public, it will show on live on TV, show on with some broadcast on a radio station, and um, it will stream on also on social media. So people can participate, everybody see with the political parties and talk. So now we we'll go back, now we we'll say, okay, well, after the debate now, now we get a body who we'll, we'll go register, and who we'll, we'll dedicated in, dedicating himself for only organized political debate, for not promote the kind like the part of the culture of the politics. And so with support from the National Democratic Institute, and so we take for register, and so we take for come, we'll get 11 members then, because while it be inclusive, and let it be uh, diverse. So we get 11 member organizations. Or inside the women they represented, inside the PWDs they represented, inside the media represented, inside the CSU they represented, inside the, um, the election monitoring bodies they represented. So if you look, we get um, the PPRC, the PPRC now the co chair, the NPDC, and the PPRC now the political parties registration commission because now they the interface with the political parties then. And the political parties now now we primarily stakeholders. Then you get um, the media, you get Sludge, you get SABC, you get um, AYB TV. That they all that they all did. Then you get um, youth, the youth. You get Center for the Coordination of Youth Activities. Then they did. Then you get women. Then you get a 50-50 group. Who they who they represent women? Then they are the, they are the group. Then you get um, um, a group who don't get experience for organized debate. 
at, the, at, at lower level. You get the National and Literary Debating Association, DSFDD. And you get um, uh, CSOs them where they promote governance. You get a uh, campaign for good governance. Then you get an um, IGR, Institute of Governance Reform. So now all this, we say, are very diverse, very inclusive. And now we the now we are the NPDC, and now we now we now we um, um, uh, form the committee so that we will organize the bit. And this one, they come up from the NDI, and they support all this process, and they also they support these three debates we can get in January. Okay, so look at the political party them as this whole thing sends um, um, centers around them. So like, how many um, political parties we get for see participate this time around? And oh. before that, like, how we don't go about for consult them part, when political party them then let you know if they don't agree for take part in this whole thing. Yes, wonderful. So what do they do? And because we know say for organize debates, we call them political debates, and the committee named political de national political debate committee. So we basically get for deal with political parties. So the political parties then are our primary stakeholders, and that's why we have PP uh, PPRC on the on the committee and so what we, for everything we do we do an, in consultation with the political parties so what we do first we call them into a meeting through the PPRC we're going to PPRC then conference room we sit down and we tell them say now this will plan and they have given input so we agree so now all agree on the topics then now all agree on the dates now all agree on the format and now all agree on the orientation we're going to do for let the debate come so now so we get them in consultation and all the participate 17 political parties they all go to the all not going to money in our apc because apc let me get them let me get some small draw draw they get but then um, they, they send words say then go then go join we along the way but they're very willing for for come for come on board okay so the three aspects will be the talk of way now the in terms of the debates for the youths and also women and um, the pwds like um let me know this now from the political parties they may come out on how now they come about this sort of thing well you know say after every um, on the NDI platform, um, they, get, they can get engagement with political parties then. Okay. So normally when they can go, they can get some sessions, they will go discuss both topical issues, they will happen and, and next steps. So from the next steps to them, the last bit to them, they get, they get some next steps, say, some issues they're happy with the one, the one for discuss on, or, or the one for let the NDI support them for, for do. And so now from there, now we take some of them, then the issue there, who comes, okay, look at the meeting. Then issue there, now topical issue there, nothing will happen. Like now, woman the for for women's empowerment, equality and empowerment. Then now we talk about drug abuse in our country. We talk about unemployment in our country. We talk about uh, the abuse of social media. Then we talk about security. Mm? And also they talk about PWDs there. They, 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 they want the right, they want for be Person. for be recognized. Okay. Yes. Person living with disabilities. So now they on the issues, there are no topical issues that would they happen. Now we also now we say we pull topics from there. So now we agree say for the young people debate, now we now we ask the political parties then. What in our, on our plans, uh, what kind of solutions and for, for proof or for tell the public for address youth unemployment, for address drug abuse, for address the abuse of social media and, and promotion of hate speech, and for also promote safe, um, um, peace and security in us alone. So that's what, that's what, that's the topic that we will agree on for the young people debate. For the woman debate, to we'll say, okay, the most topical issue now gender equality and women's empowerment. And we get the bill, we don't go through parliament, so parliament don't legislate. Now we don't get the GV Act, then called the Gender Equality and Women's Empowerment Act 2020. Only they wait now for the president sign them, but they don't pass on as a, as a law. So one now, what are the political party in contribution? How you get to make sure see, this law not become like other law they wouldn't pass, but they need to implement them. What do you contribute for letting implement them to the fullest so that we could see the change who the woman be the first for actually uh, happen. Then for the PWDs now, we say, okay, now we agree, say, um, let the political parties then come tell me what are the things they wouldn't go do for promote inclusion of disabled, pe disabled people eh, in the political party then, and how they will promote the active participation. So those are the three issues that we don't, we don't agree on. And we agree together. We, we, we debate, debate, pull this, put that day, scratch that one day, put that one day, and we agree on the one day. So how do the public go for be, I mean, deeply involved into all of this? Yes, well, the public now, now we don't start soon. We don't start the public engagement now. We go for go around the country and do awareness raising, say, then here they come up, and uh, the NPDC day, now we go for, now we, the responsible for organized debate, and we do them for three reasons. One, we want to promote issue-based politics. So the politics who we want to promote, the politics who with the dialogue, who well, is based on issue, you know, they based on tribe, you know, they based on region, yeah. so that the public will know if you are a candidate or you are a political party, you want to contest for any position, you can, if you tell the public, then what you put you put plan for the country and how you want to achieve that plan. Hmm? Yes. Okay, so where the, the, so the voters are they go now, where the, where the, where the public they go now for vote for you now, then they vote on the issues then they, rather than they vote on tribe or region. Yeah. And they want to promote dialogue. We want to let the politicians in dialogue among themselves. Let them live for faith and let them not attack their personalities. Then. Let them, let them, let them fight on issues. Hmm? Let them fight on issues and, and ideas that they want. And also want to promote um, 
participation. Because democracy is all about participation. So once the public, they follow you, where you talk in the public, they see on the TV, talk on the radio, and they're going to come in the town hall meeting, they talk, then they follow you, and they know what you plan, and what you want to do, and then they inform the decision then when they're going to pull in, pull in day. So those are the issues we want, and we want, we want to do. So lastly, who's, what do you got for left to the people um, as we want to go into this now in terms of like and, 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 achieve this whole thing here? And, 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 and the other thing back again, we, talk, we, we asked me about, about participation, the public participation. Yeah. They would do the debate now, actual debate now itself, with the make sure it will show on live. Okay. It's live on TV, it's live on radio, okay. because we get the independent radio network with the simulcast and throughout all the community radio stations across the country. Okay. So that any decision we tune between 7 p.m. to uh, 10 p.m., three hours, you get them, you get the programs. You know, if you go to the hall for good day, because the hall will go for invite three people in for good day because no one crowd day. And you can forget the moderator will go for ask the questions there. And so, um, what we do so one, forget the public along, one, get the buying of the public, one, get the confidence and trust and, um, and, and build the trust of the politicians as well. Because the, because the politicians you know, do not trust me, then, then they participate. So, then you can see the composition of the, uh, of the NPDC will make sure say, um, we come with credible organizations then together and make sure see the one they here and the media and a sludge. And we, we don't try for make sure so credibility they up there and we want to build that confidence. They say this is what we do, so not for we separate one for. And we need support or favor any party. Okay. We can make we core values then. We core values and independence. And we all don't sign to a document who the ensure say we commit to we non partisanship. So we need to support any political party that the people will support. And we they, 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 they apply professionalism, we they apply credibility and and, and, uh, and integrity throughout so that we, we maintain that trust day and that confidence day, not only with the public but also with the political parties then. Because once the political parties then they get that perception say, hey they were then then they favor S A P P or they favor APC. Uh, one party not go participate. So we make anything we do, now we do one together. Even for the personal debate, we go for come, we go for agree, and we all go for sit down together. We plan them. I want to go. We go seventy political parties there. We want to put them all on stage, or we want to divide them into three groups, and we all go for agree back together before we go into the the kind of engagement. Then the person we just don't watch and listen are the chairman for the National Political Debate Committee. We don't tell you what in the press conference be there about, and as well, don't highlight what in are some of the things and we then go for get inside the forthcoming political debates. We go for come very soon to the public. Well, me we bring you this program, me not just this AM teacher. I want to say plenty, plenty thank you to my executive producer, Dr. Isatu Kakejalo, and also to my cameraman, Mohammed Sky Bangora. Till we meet again, I want to say peace.